you were invited to a wedding feast don't always head for the best seat. What if someone more respected than you has also been invited? The host will say, let this person sit here instead. Then you will be embarrassed and will have to take whatever seat is left at the foot of the table. Do this instead. Sit at the foot of the table. Then when your host sees you, he will come and say, friend, we have a better place than this for you. Then you will be honored in front of all the other guests. For the proud will be humbled, but the humble will be honored. Then he turned to his host. When you put on a luncheon or a dinner, he said, don't invite your friends, brothers, relatives, and rich neighbors, for they will repay you by inviting you back. Instead, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. Then at the resurrection of the godly, God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. Hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus exclaimed, what a privilege it would be to have a share in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with this illustration, A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. When all was ready, he sent his servant around to notify the guests that it was time for them to come. But they all began making excuses. One said he had just bought a field and wanted to inspect it, so he asked to be excused. Another said he had just bought five pair of oxen and wanted to try them out. Another had just been married, so he said he couldn't come. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. His master was angry and said, Go quickly into the streets and alleys of the city and invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. After the servant had done this, he reported, There is still room for more. So his master said, Go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come, so that the house will be full. For none of those I invited first will get even the smallest taste of what I had prepared for them.